Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at Farming Simulator's easiest animal, chickens. What do we feed them, how do we take care of them, and most of all, how do we get them to produce eggs? Let's find out, shall we? Now, I am only using the base game, I am not using any mods for this. These are base game chicken coops right here, the small ones. I put up two just because I can, and just to uh, show you that there are food options. So first of all, to look at our animal menu, we just go into the main menu and we can see right now we have no pens or animals yet. Well, we know we have pens. We've got two chicken coops. There's just no animals in them. So what we need to do is stand right here. We can open the animal dialog and now we are, have access to our animal dealer where we can purchase our chickens. Now in the base game, there is no way to transport chickens. So we have to do it right here from the coop. Um, and it's simply a matter of deciding what chicken you want and moving it over to the farm. So we've got white chickens, black chickens, brown chickens, and we have roosters. Of the three chickens, they don't matter. It's purely whatever you prefer. They all produce the same. They all do the same. They just look different. And as far as roosters go, in the past, there's been some in misinformation about roosters. In the base game, you don't need roosters for anything. They are purely there for show. So it's your choice. If you want to throw a couple roosters in there just to add some realism, be my guest. But they are not necessary. So let's grab some chickens here. We'll move about 10. Eh, we'll make it 15. Five of each. Uh, okay, 16. <laughs> let's get rid of one just to keep a nice round number. Oh, well, we took it anyway. I guess we're having 16 chickens. So now we can see that we have got chickens in our pen. <laughs> if I can get over this fence and they are all clucking and pecking around happily. Our next step is to provide them with something to eat now with chickens. If we go back into our menu, we can see we've got chickens in a chicken coop. We see all 16 of them. Right now we see that they have no productivity. That's because they just moved over um, and they have no food and their cleanliness is zero. They have not, or we have not caught up to them. They have not caught up to us. We have a few steps to take to uh, get them to produce. So what I've got here are the two food options. Again, if we look at our menu, we can see that food is wheat or barley. You do not have to use both for chickens. It's one or the other. So our first group of chickens here, I'm going to feed them wheat. And all you do is bring that right over here to their food trough. And you can see sitting there and we just tip some wheat right into the food trough. It will stop when it's completely full. And now our chickens have plenty to eat. That food will last them about 10 in-game days. So it's not like you have to constantly keep filling up their food. If you want to, be my guest, top it off every day, make that a habit, that's your choice. But you don't have to do it that way. It will last about 10 days. Now, chickens do not need any water, not in the base game. There are mods out there that change that fact. There are also mods out there that require roosters. That would be seasons in particular. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some more chickens into this chicken coop. And we'll just make sure we have the same amount again. Why? It doesn't matter, but we're just gonna, gonna stay uniform, what the heck. And then we're going to go back and I also have a trailer full of barley. So you can see it's a mixer match deal. You can give them purely wheat, you can give them purely barley, or you can mix them. So if you've given them wheat once, you run out of wheat, you can just throw barley in there. It doesn't matter because it all just turns effectively to chicken feed. In fact, I would argue that as we see that barley tip in, it automatically converts it to wheat. So the chickens are all really getting wheat, even though it says barley. So we have just done everything we need to do to make our chickens productive, at least right out of the gate. We've given them food and that's all you have to do for chickens. Give them food and keep their pen clean. 
So I'm going to park this right back over here. We're going to take a quick look at our animal menu one more time and see we do have food. We have no productivity yet. That's just because time has not advanced far enough for the chickens to catch up with what we've done for them. And cleanliness is zero simply because, again, the pen hasn't caught up with where we're at. So at this point, probably the best bet is to advance about a day. So I will see you right back here tomorrow morning. And we are back. It's been almost exactly 24 hours, give or take 15 minutes. And we can start to see in our animal menu that our productivity is up to 100%. Our food is down a little. The chickens have been eating for a day, but you can see how long that will last just by how little food has been used at this point. Their cleanliness is at 100%. They haven't made any mess yet and they have produced 44 liters of eggs. Also, we can look at their reproduction rate and we can see that at 100% productivity, they are going to reproduce one chicken every 40 in-game hours. And we, are, we just have to wait another 16 hours before we have another chicken. So, it says their cleanliness is 100% and we can see that there is nothing out here in this tip area. When the chickens make a mess their cleanliness drops and you will see that mess right here in the tip area. It's just going to look like little piles of wheat that they have spit out annoyingly that you have to come in. You just bring your bucket over here, drop it down, and you can scoop that up no problem. And then you can just tip that wheat, if there were any, you would just tip it right back into their food trough right here. No problem. It's really simple to keep them clean. You do that maybe once, twice a day, and the chickens are happy and producing at their maximum. Now, obviously we want chickens to produce eggs, and these chickens are producing, as we saw in our animal menu. We'll look at that one last time. We've got 44 liters of eggs, and you will see these eggs in the box right here. Each box will hold 150 liters, so this box will continue to fill until it reaches 150 liters. You don't have to wait. You can grab this box, you can pick it up, you can chuck it into anything that will carry a box, and run that over to whatever merchant is buying eggs for whatever price they're buying eggs for. You can wait. Boxes will just continue to stack up in this area right here until it's full and I believe that's either 9 or 12 boxes it might be more um, but it's totally up to you if you've got a good price on eggs you might want to sell what you have right now if not you can wait at some point though this will fill up and they will stop creating egg boxes so you do need to move them out to make room for new egg boxes coming in beyond that that's all you really need to know about chickens they're very simple very easy um, one last tip I would probably recommend that if you're going to do chickens and you want to make money, you need a lot of chickens. And I'm talking in the hundreds of chickens. So if you just want to keep them for fun and something different to do, be my guest. I appreciate you all taking a look at this tutorial on chickens. And until next time, take care.